Welcome to the next lesson on words related to travel plans and traveling in the United States. Um, in the last lesson, we talked about book, check in, and check out. In this lesson, we're going to talk about going rate and a round trip. Going rate and round trip. That will be part of this lesson, and then we'll do the next ones uh, after that. So the going rate in English just basically means the amount your airplane ticket or hotel will cost uh, in price or hotel accommodation. Like we learned in the last video, the word accommodation, the amount your airplane ticket or hotel accommodation will cost in price. That's the going rate. So we'll say, what? how much is it? But sometimes they'll say, well, what's your going rate? And you can ask uh, like this question. What is the going rate for a hotel room with a king-size bed near Yellowstone National Park next summer? So as you make your Yellowstone trip plans, you can look at different hotels and look at the pictures that you can find online. What is the going rate? I want you to listen and repeat. What is the going rate for a hotel room with a king-size bed near Yellowstone National Park next summer. What is the going rate for a hotel room with a king-size bed near Yellowstone National Park next summer? This is a question you can ask yourself and good practice reading this and practicing listening and repeating. Here's something important to note when you're looking online for these. This is a studio room with one king bed, and it says it has a kitchenette. Kitchenette? Is that, does that mean a kitchen? It has a, a sink and everything? It has a dishwasher? What does that mean? Well, in this, a kitchenette usually means that the room has a small area with a sink, microwave, and a small refrigerator. It doesn't have everything a real kitchen in a home would have, but it might have a couple small things. It doesn't look like it has a stove. Let's find out. Oh, there it is. You can see here. Most kitchenettes do not have a cooking stove, but some do. Always ask the hotel if they have a stove before you make food or travel plans. So they have a fridge, a refrigerator, they have a coffee pot, they have a microwave, and they have a sink. And this is one of the places in Yellowstone National Park. So you want to look at the pictures of your hotel room. But as a reminder, they do not have a stove. So if you're thinking of cooking hot food in your kitchenette when you go to Yellowstone, uh, this may not be an option for you. So please plan ahead. Always ask the hotel. If they don't, that, that's just assume that the kitchenette does not have a cooking stove. You will often have to prepare cold food uh, for this kind of thing uh, or find another option. So there you go. That's the kitchenette. This is what this hotel calls a kitchenette. Say that with me. Kitchenette. Good practice. Okay. Going on with the going rate, learning about this word. A going rate basically is here. If you look at this picture again, we have we checked in at this time, we check out at this time in June. We have this studio bed with the kitchenette. Ooh, this one does have free internet, uh, but this is a hotel outside of Yellowstone National Park. It's not one of the lodges. It's it's at a nearby town by the entrance, but the going rate for this hotel room. Looking at this, where do you find the going rate? It doesn't say it. it. doesn't say going rate anywhere. How do you know? Well, the going rate in Gardner, Montana is about $239 per night. And Gardner, Montana is just north of Yellowstone National Park. And I'll show you that on a map later. But here it's $239. So your price is your going rate. So you might say, what's the going rate each night? It's $239. That's the going rate. Okay. 
And the going rate for an airplane ticket. You can see if you fly into Bozeman, Montana, instead of the Jackson, Wyoming, like other places might do. Um, with this option, the going rate is $359. With this option, it's $412. So the going rate, if you do a summary, the going rate really is around $400, somewhere around as an average. But this is the question you can ask. So listen and repeat. What is the going rate for a round trip airline ticket to Bozeman, Montana? Good practice. The going rates for airline tickets that are round trip are about $400. Listen and repeat. The going rates for airline tickets that are round trip are about $400. Good practice. And as you remember, this sign we say dollars after the number. And round trip, that word means the total cost for your departure and your return home. So it's the total cost of going and coming back. And these are round trip flights. And so that's what a round trip means, there and back. One way means there and nothing back. But round trip is the whole, whole part, departure and arrival, departure and re return home. So let's learn about the word round trip. Round trip, what does that mean? Well, you start at one place. Maybe we start here in Burlington. We go all the way around here and come back home. That's a round trip example. But a round trip is a travel plan that goes from one place and returns. One-way tickets only go to the destination, as I mentioned. So here's an example of a round trip. We want a round trip ticket to get close to Yellowstone. Listen and repeat. We want a round trip ticket to get close to Yellowstone. Good practice. A round trip would mean, oh, going back here, you can see the selection too when you go online and book a hotel or book a flight, you'll see the options you have between round trip and one way. So round trip and one way. And here's a picture of a family outside Yellowstone. This is not my family, just a family I found uh, with a photo online that was taking pictures outside Yellowstone. And here's something important to notice. The entrance to Yellowstone National Park is about three hours south of where you will fly if you choose Bozeman, Montana. Now Jackson, Wyoming, uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming is a different different situation, but if you, most people will try to fly in too, especially if you come from a bigger city. Uh, it's about a three hour drive south from where you, the city you actually fly into. And you will need a bus or scheduled ride to get into Yellowstone. So here's here's a picture of what that looks like. Bozeman, Montana is here. This is Yellowstone National Park down here. But some people fly. There aren't any there are there aren't any airports around here. They don't have any in this area. So people fly to Bozeman, take a bus, and they take the bus down here. Or maybe they rent a car here and they take it all the way down into the entrance and then they visit and they might stay um, in a hotel here and then go, or people might even stay in hotels in Bozeman and then get up early and go to Yellowstone all day. But a lot of people like to stay here at West Yellowstone in lodges, or they'll stay in places over here in the north entrance on Highway 89 is another option. So those are just some things for you to be aware of when you research and plan your Yellowstone trip. Here's Bozeman, and here's Yellowstone. So one way, you only pay 
to only pay to get to a destination. Again, as we review one way, with a one-way ticket, you only go to the place you will need to schedule a return if you want to go back home. So sometimes there's an idiom in English that says, a one-way ticket to the moon. Uh, and it's a, it's a joke that people have. One-way ticket. New York Earth and Moonopolis Moon. There are no, it's not a round trip. You go all the way you, and you're, you're there. However, NASA and uh, space explorers like SpaceX and other companies looking to, and maybe other countries looking to go to the moon are trying to do that. And it could be a one-way ticket. Just looked at the going rate and round trip. In the next video, we'll talk about prefer to, leave on, and get back. I'll see you in the next video lesson.